let me also, oh. and I'm, this is going to sound really arrogant, but I think for 40 years of overweightness, I've got some some say in this, right? It's my lived experience. Um, some <laughs> drop some knowledge on the on the overweight issue, right? And this is this is for real. If people are significantly overweight, we're not talking about five or ten kilos, but significantly overweight, then I believe that the most likely chance is they probably have food addiction issues. Because you have to say without question, to get 30, 40, 50, 100 kilos overweight, and they're the people I'm talking about, you have a bad relationship with food. You can't not get to that point and not have a bad relationship with food. Now, that might be a psychological issue, and you use food as an outworking of it. It might be an addictive issue directly to food. And... What I learned about myself at one stage in my life was I used food like an alcoholic used alcohol. So if you think about what an alcoholic would do with alcohol, that's what I did with food. Now, it was very difficult for me to have people I know say to me, well, just, you know, go on a diet. Just stop eating. You know, that's, and it was like saying to an alcoholic, well, that's a piece of piss. Just stop drinking. Right. So that's, that's the first thing to think about when you're thinking of and looking at significantly overweight people. The second thing is, I read a book by a guy, uh, actor in America, who talks about his food addictions. I can't remember his name. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. But he talks about how an addiction to heroin is sexy, but addiction to food is not. An addiction to food is also the only addiction that you have where you have to keep using the thing you're addicted to or else you'll die. If you're addicted to a drug, if you're addicted to alcohol, if you're addicted to porn, you don't need that in your life to actually continue living. Think about if you were addicted, if you were an alcoholic, but every day you still had to have a liter of alcohol to survive for the rest of your life. Or if you're a heroin addict and every day you had to have one shot for the rest of your life to survive. That's what it's like for someone who's got a food addiction. They have to continue to have a relationship and interact with the thing that has caused them their troubles and their health and that they're addicted to, but not just put it to the side and go cold turkey or figure out a way through you know, counseling and hard work to not need it anymore. They always need it or else they will die. So it's a very different scenario. Yeah, like Paul's saying you can die from heroin withdrawal. I know, but you can also get through that and then not need heroin. But the heroin withdrawal can be immediate and can happen there and then. But after you've gone through that, it doesn't happen a year later. Um, so so it's I, I, I've found for me, and I think it's important for people to know, to think about it in a different way, you know. To me, to think about, again, significant weight issues, not the 5 or 10 kilos overweight, but the 40 or 50 kilos overweight. You should, you should be thinking about them like an, an addict, like an alcoholic with alcohol. I'll, I'll give you an example, right? I did a quiz online talking about al uh, about alcoholics and it was like do you ho hide alcohol around the house yes i did that with food do you uh you know do you tell lies to cover your intake of alcohol yes i did that with food so like all of those boxes i would tick as well do you you know do you sometimes are you sometimes short of money for the monthly bills because of you spending it on food yes i've done that as well it is really paralleling for a lot of people all the way through and it's a different concept and a different aspect for people when you understand it's not just lazy, fat people who won't stop putting gob stuff in their mouth. For some people, maybe for a lot of people, I'll say for a lot of people who are significantly overweight, it's a real problem with food that's a lot harder than just stop eating and exercise like people like this crazy old bint is going on about. You know, It's not just as simple as that for a lot of people. Um, and for me, like I said, I'm down 25 kilos, 24 kilos. It's been 40 years to get to a point where I've been able to, I've been on this journey where I am right now for, for since I was 40. So for, you know, seven, eight years. And it's taken me another seven or eight years to get to a point where I've had the ability to actually then do that. So I'm just putting it out there. I'm not trying to, you know, say woe is me because it's not. But when we think about other people and we think about people who are going through that, I would just encourage people not to think about, you know, look at that disgusting, lazy, fat person. All that. I wish they'd just stop eating and exercise. If you wouldn't think it about an alcoholic or a, someone, I mean, I guess you could think about it, someone who's got a porn addiction, just stop watching it, but you don't typically think about that. Or, or a drug addict or something like that, then you shouldn't be thinking about it, about someone who's 100 pounds or 50 kilos overweight. Ooh.